What if your thoughts could speak directly to a machine? What if your mind, that quiet voice behind your eyes, could one day type, paint, or create without a single movement? This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the birth of the Brain-Computer Interface, or BCI, where neuroscience and artificial intelligence meet. At its core, it's a bridge between the human mind and the digital world. Every thought we have is an electrical signal, a spark racing through a network of 86 billion neurons. A BC translates those sparks into code, patterns that computers can understand. Today, scientists are learning to decode those patterns with astonishing precision. People once trapped inside their own bodies can now communicate, move robotic limbs, or even control a cursor with nothing but thought. The implications go far beyond medicine. Imagine composing music directly from imagination or sketching what you see in your mind's eye. For centuries, our bodies have been the bottleneck of creation. Now, the limit may only be the speed of thought. The gap between idea and action is shrinking, and that changes everything. But here's where artificial intelligence steps in. The brain doesn't speak in words or pictures. It speaks in pulses, waves, and noise. AI becomes the translator. It learns the language of thought. With deep learning, it can recognize when you're thinking of moving left, remembering a song, or feeling joy. One day, it might even help us understand emotions at their purest level unspoken, unfiltered, and raw. But with power comes risk. If we can read thoughts, who controls that data? Who ensures it's used for healing, not manipulation? The same bridge that connects minds and machines could also expose them. Privacy, consent, and identity, and they'll matter more than ever. In the wrong hands, the mind could become the final frontier of surveillance. In the right ones, the birthplace of a new kind of freedom. So where does this lead? Perhaps one day, human consciousness will flow freely into digital form. Thoughts, ideas, creativity, existing beyond biology, merging with intelligent systems that amplify what we are. It's not the end of humanity. It's a continuation, the next step in our evolution. Imagine a world where we no longer need to speak, type, or move to create, where thinking becomes doing. A composer could write an entire symphony just by imagining the notes. An architect could build a digital city from pure thought. And the rest of us? We could perform a thousand tasks at once without lifting a finger. But what happens to humanity when effort is no longer required? Our muscles shaped civilization. We hunted, built, tilled, and crafted. Later, our minds took over, and machines replaced our hands. Now, even the act of doing may disappear. If everything becomes effortless, what happens to discipline, to mastery, to pride, in a job well done, we might gain time, yet lose purpose. Gain convenience, yet lose connection to our own humanity. Perhaps that's why such power can never be universal, at least not yet. At first, it will heal and assist, giving voices to the voiceless, freedom to the paralyzed, memory to those who forget. But if it ever became common, if anyone could live by pure thought alone, our greatest health challenge might not be disease, but disuse. The body and brain evolved together for a reason. Movement isn't just physical, it's how we think, feel, and grow. So the question isn't whether we can live by thought alone, it's whether we should. Because technology doesn't decide how we use it, we do. The future will be telepathy between AI and the organic brain. Or is it already beginning? So where does this lead? 
Perhaps one day, human consciousness will flow freely into digital form. Thoughts, ideas, creativity, existing beyond biology, merging with intelligent systems that amplify what we are. It's not the end of humanity. It's a continuation, the next step in our evolution. The future will be telepathy between AI and the organic brain. Or is it already beginning? If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, hit subscribe and join us at AI and You, where curiosity meets creation. And the future is just one thought away.